If you're planning to start a YouTube channel, it's really important that you understand YouTube analytics because it's really easy to start a YouTube channel, creating videos, uploading it to YouTube. But the most challenging part here is to analyze and understand the performance of your video after uploading it. In the next six minutes, we are going to see some basics about YouTube analytics and I will show you some key parameters that you can look within YouTube analytics dashboard and I'm sure that this will help you understand the performance of your video. So let's get started. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Bilal Sharif. If you are not aware, I have been making videos on best places of India as part of Incredible India series, law videos, tips to grow your YouTube channel and some general knowledge videos. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. And if you are seeing value in this video, make sure you are giving it a thumbs up which will motivate me to make more such videos. To start with, first you have to open your YouTube channel and from there you have to open YouTube Studio. If you are not aware what is YouTube Studio, YouTube Studio allows you to manage everything related to your channel. On clicking profile picture, you will be able to find an option to open YouTube Studio. Inside YouTube Studio, you have to select content. This will display all videos uploaded by you in your channel. In this screen, you have visibility column that shows whether your video is public or private and if you have any copyright issues that will be part of restrictions. And you have published to date and number of views for your video and number of comments. And you will find four options next to each video. The first one is details where you can edit the title of your video and description. And the next option here is analytics. You have to select that. This will show you the performance of that specific video. For example, in this video, we are going to analyze this video, top five places to visit in Kufri. If you are not aware, I have been making videos on best places of India as part of Incredible India series. And this video is episode number 17. If you are new to my channel, you can find the links to Incredible India series in the description of this video. In video analytics screen, we have four sections that is overview, reach, engagement and audience. First, I will start with overview. In overview section, you will be able to find the total number of views for this particular video followed by watch time. In this video, I got 1300 watch hours and I got 35 new subscribers from this video. Here you will find an option to put a filter and see the performance of this video for last 7 days, last 28 days and last 90 days. Here I have applied filter for last 28 days. As you can see I got 43 views and 2 hours 30 minutes of watch time. Now I have applied filter for last 90 days. In last 90 days I got 161 views and 16.7 hours of watch time. Scroll down, you will be able to find key movements for audience retention and the key movement for audience retention report explains how well different movements of your video help viewers attention and this report gives insight into areas of your video that are working well and the opportunities for improvement. To check average view duration, you have to wait for at least 15 to 30 minutes after uploading your video. I will show you some key moments in this video when I talk about engagement section of video analytics. Average percentage viewed in my case it's 56.9 percentage but make sure that you are maintaining at least 80 to 90 percentage. The next section in video analytics screen is reach. In this screen you will be able to see the number of impressions that your video generated. In my case I got 6.5k impressions on this video. If you are not aware what is impression, impression here is that my thumbnail of this video were shown to 6500 viewers on YouTube. You can see impression click through rate is 4.3 percentage which means when my video is recommended to 100 people out of which 4 people are watching my video. 
Here you will be able to find how your viewers found your video on YouTube. As you can see on the screen, traffic sources through browse features, it's 53.6 percentage, and through YouTube advertising, it's 39 percentage. Suggested video 1.9 percentage. Through channel pages, I got 1.3 percentage, and other YouTube features contribute 1.1 percentage. And if you want to know how to advertise your video on YouTube, I have already made a video on how to get zero to thousand subscribers in ten days. I have pasted the link in the description of this video. After watching this video, you can have a look at it. On the right hand side, you will be able to see how impressions contributed for your watch time. If you are not aware, to get monetized on YouTube, you need to have at least four thousand watch hours in previous twelve months. With 6.5k impressions, I got 38 hours of watch time from this video. I got 7,816 views for this video, out of which one percentage came from external sites and apps. And we have further split up for that one percentage. Say in our case, one percentage is 78 views, and here you can see the contribution from Instagram, WhatsApp, Creator Studio, and WhatsApp business accounts. Whenever I upload a new video, I used to share it on my Instagram page and with my friends on WhatsApp. So that's why you can see Instagram contributing 35 percentage and WhatsApp contributing 29.6 percentage. And you will find some data related to bell notifications. Say in our case, the bell notification has been sent to 80 subscribers, out of which I got notification click through rate as 5 percentage, which means out of 80 subscribers through bell notification, four people have watched my video. Next, you will find some data related to YouTube search term. As you can see on the screen, 0.6 percentage views for this video came from YouTube search term, and these were the terms used to search my video. Actually, I have tagged all these keywords to my video, and you will be able to find top content suggesting your video. In my case, I got 1.9 percentage views from suggestions, and you can see all those video names that is suggesting your content. Next, we will look at engagement section of video analytics screen. Here, you can see the watch time you got from this video. I got thousand three hundred watch hours from this video, and the average view duration is nine minutes forty one seconds. Next, you have audience retention rate. In my case, it's fifty six point nine percentage, but make sure you are maintaining at least eighty to ninety percentage. YouTube mostly recommend those videos that has a very good audience retention rate. Then you have likes versus dislike. This gives you like percentage for this video comparing with your channel average. Next, we have end screen element click rate. Now, if you are not aware what is end screen, I have already made a video on how to get 4,000 watch hours in four months, where I have talked about end screens. You can have a look at it. I have pasted the link in the description below. In this video, I have shown Taj Mahal to audience, and I have informed them that in my next episode of Incredible India series, I will be covering Taj Mahal, and that is the key moment in this video for audience retention. Now let's move to audience section of video analytics. Here you can find the data for returning viewers, unique viewers, and the number of subscribers you gained through this video. Here you will be able to see how much watch time you got from your subscribers and the age and gender of your viewers and top geographies from where you got views. These are the four sections that will be available under video analytics, and you can use this effectively to understand the performance of your video after uploading your video on YouTube. In my upcoming videos, I will be covering channel analytics, where you will be able to find when your viewers are on YouTube platform and from which country you are getting more views and all other related stuff. So make sure you are hitting that subscribe button and bell icon so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. If you like this video, do share it with your friends and family members who may be interested in starting a YouTube channel. And thanks for watching this video. This is Bilal Sharif signing out. Until we meet again with a new tip.